Hello friends, welcome to the video lecture series on artificial intelligence and machine learning. I am Dr. Dafda and in this 13th video class of AIML, we will understand the first type of agent program which is simple reflex agent. Starting with the name, what is the meaning of simple reflex agents? See simple means basic, reflex means spontaneous or immediate. So the agent that reacts spontaneously or rapidly without considering any past responses or future goals is a simple reflex agent. For example, if you see a ball coming towards your face that can hit you, your reflex will be to catch it or move away from it. So that is simple reflex behavior. The simple reflex agent acts only based on current input or we can say single input and it works based on condition action rules that is if then rules. If the ball is hitting, catch it. Okay. Considering one more example, say our AI agent is an automatic door system and the environment in which it is working is the entrance of a building. So the condition action rules here will be if it detects a person which is the condition then it opens the door which is the action and if it detects no person then it keeps the door closed. Okay. So this is a simple reflex agent and this simple reflex agent is the most basic type of AI agent. Okay. So let us start. See, simple reflex agent are the most basic type of agents that decide what to do based only on what they see right now without thinking about what happened before or what might happen next. The main characteristics are it doesn't have any memory. That is simple reflex agent don't remember anything from the past. They only focus on what they see or sense at the current moment and they ignore past situations or actions. So their decisions are always based on the latest input they receive. The second characteristic is they have direct or simple actions. These agents have a set of simple fixed rules they follow to respond to specific situations. Each rule tells the agent what to do when it senses something in particular, which is also called condition action rules. For example, if a cleaning robot detects dirt, it starts cleaning it. And if it reaches a wall, it turns around, right? Let us consider one more example to understand it properly. Think of a thermostat in a room. When the temperature goes above a certain level, it turns on the air condition. And when the temperature drops below a certain point, it turns on the heater. So the thermostat isn't thinking about the past temperatures. It's just reacting based on what it senses right now. So that is a simple reflex agent. What are the advantages of this simple reflex agent? These Agents are quick and simple since these agents don't need to remember or process a lot of information. They can make decisions fast and they are easy to design and implement for simple well-defined tasks. What are the limitations of this simple reflex agent? They are not flexible that is they have lack of adaptability. If something changes in the environment that they are not programmed to, they won't know how to respond and they do not have learning ability. Since they don't remember anything, they can't learn from past experiences or improve over Time. And see these simple reflex agents are a great way to start learning about AI because they show the most basic way an agent can act on its environment. Later we will see more advanced agents also that can remember and learn also in further video classes. What are the condition action rules based on which the simple reflex agent works? Condition action rules are simple rules that link specific situations or conditions to specific actions. For example, if our agent is a vacuum cleaner robot, if the condition is that the agent detects dirt on the floor, then the action it will take will be start cleaning. And if another condition is that if there is no dirt, the agent moves to the next spot. So the vacuum cleaner sees dirt, it knows to clean and if it sees a clean spot, it moves. How this condition action rules works? Number one is observation. The agent observes its surroundings, sensing information about the environment, such as whether there is dirt on the floor. Number two is it match with rule. The agent checks its rules or list of rules to find one that matches the current situation. For example, the rule may be if dirty, then clean. And number three is perform action. Once the condition matches, the agent immediately carries out the linked action without any additional thinking. So actually this process is very fast because the agent doesn't analyze past events or even plan future actions. It simply follows the rule that applies to the situation right now and therefore it is a spontaneous or reflex agent, right? So the key points to remember is the agent gives instant response. That is the agent doesn't stop to think or make complex calculations. It just responds based on predefined rules and it is simple and effective for straightforward tasks, but not flexible or adaptable for unexpected situations or complex environments. So that is all for this video class. Thank you very much.